Hi, I'm Joe Crea. I am a member of USGBC's Marketing and Communications Department, and we are here with LEAD Fellow Deepa Satiram. She works in India and has worked with LEAD for a number of years. Deepa, we're delighted to have you. Thank you. I wanted to ask you, what can people reasonably expect when pursuing LEAD? What do they expect out of the certification process? Um, that's a great question. See, um, basically sustainability is a problem that everybody wants to address and every building wants to save on energy, water. And the rating system provides a great framework for people to be able to do that. But something that people should understand is that, uh, you know, we often compare a LEED certificate to a university or a college degree. It's basically, um, let's take an example that both of us are engineers and, you know, we just uh, graduated out of Stanford. And um, we've gone through the same academic rigor, the curriculum, and the whole drill and both of us are engineers. And three years or five years later, you're a great performing engineer and uh, you're doing extremely well in a job and I'm an engineer but I'm not doing so great. So does that mean that the degree that Stanford gave me is at fault, is something that Stanford should not have given me? No, it's basically what do we say when we get a degree from college that we have the foundation and the knowledge and the ability to perform. And how you perform is only something that time will tell, and that depends on each individual. The LEED certification is very similar to that. It tells a client, or it should tell a building, that you have everything in you to be able to perform mm -hmm. and save on energy, water, and do all the right things. But how it performs is something that the building will only know over a period of time. And the building has to continue to do a lot of things to be able to perform. You cannot sit down saying, oh, I've got my LEED certificate and I've done everything, now I can just go back to business. It doesn't work. All you say is LEED certification is step one. It just says that you have everything in you to perform. But then the building has to start performing and maintain that rigor over a period of time. And that's when they actually become a performing building. A LEED certification gives you a green building, but a performing green building is one that's in the hand of the building owners and the building operators to be able to operate it over a period of time in a most efficient way. Great. What are some of your flagship buildings that have been LEED certified? Uh, there's plenty of them. You know, We have close to about um, 120, 130 LEED certified buildings in India already. Um, you know, some of the interesting projects that we've enjoyed doing a lot of work with is um, a small building called Sun Carrier Omega Building, which is in a tier two city in India, in Bhopal. And it's one of the first buildings in India to be a net zero energy building. And it was very interesting because, you know, we work with a lot of large companies in large cities. And for a small town building to actually want to do that, and to be able to do that was excellent. And you know, it was not a very big building, about 15,000 square feet, but big enough to make them want to do, close to about 80 kilowatt of solar power. So it's, it's also a lead platinum building, but to take it beyond to net zero energy was something that was uh, fabulous. Um, some other projects is we did a very interesting green warehouse in India a few years back. And I say that, you know, everybody says, oh, LEED works very well for commercial buildings, office buildings, hotels, and IT parks. But, you know, we're just a warehouse. We have close to 300,000 square feet of warehousing space. Can we go green? And this was a Singapore company that was setting up a warehouse in India. And they came to us and they asked that question. We said, yeah, I think it would work. And, you know, we had lots of dialogue with USGBC on how do we take lead new construction and apply it and uh, they achieved a lead gold rating and probably the first green warehouse in India. So that was an interesting project too. Um, finally, what role do you see lead playing with Prime Minister Modi's Smart City Initiative, 100 Smart City Initiative? I think that, um, you know, firstly it's a great initiative and um, something that we need to look at it in a holistic manner. Um, we do a lot of great work in India, but we do it in isolation, in silos. And what would be great is if we can get LEED or USGBC and, uh, you know, we're talking about the LEED for global cities in a way that addresses 
all aspects of sustainability right from energy water waste technology health and well-being and all of that in a holistic manner it could be um, you know a community level initiative it could be a city level initiative but something that will address everything in a very holistic manner would be great because that will sustain long term we can do great work in isolation they will remain in isolation unless you do something at a large holistic level in a way that it can be replicated so you set up a pilot city or even a small part of the city because our cities are really huge a small district where you can do some of these initiatives and showcase and replicate create the modularity and and when replicate make it easy so it can be replicated in all cities and all districts across the country that that would be great thank you so much for joining us thank you thank you